hi guys and welcome to my channel um this is my first ever youtube video so you'll have to bear with me um obviously i'm just getting used to things the quality is probably not going to be amazing because i am filming on my iphone unfortunately i don't have the expenses to get anything fancy and there won't be any kind of cool uh fancy editing either because yeah i'm just I'm, I'm a beginner so you have to bear with um so um firstly i wanted to introduce myself my name is danny i'm 25 years old and i'm from brighton and um today's video i kind of wanted to talk about something that's been going on in my life something that is relevant to me and i'm sure to um many other women um so i'm going to be talking about my pregnancy how i found everything the journey so far and um yeah just answering a few questions so let's get cracking uh the first question is how and when did you find out you were pregnant so this is a really funny question when people ask me because obviously a lot of people ask oh my god how like when did you find out how did you find out um and for me it's quite funny because I basically I am a regular kind of gal um so I'm kind of like the every 30 days I would have my period and I would have this little tracker like this app on my phone which was amazing like it was spot on every time um so um yeah I was never late I was never early it was literally 30 days mother nature was gonna hit you so I was like okay cool like that's fine I can deal with that as long as I know when it's coming like Obviously, it can be a bit of a sticky situation when you're out and about and you just, you know, come on. It's not amazing. So um, the app really helped me. Um, so basically, I was four days late for my period, which for me is really strange. And I was like, something's not right. Uh, my body just feels a bit different. Um, yeah, this is there's something going on. So I was actually at work, um, which, yeah, I was at work and it was my lunch break and I was actually talking to one of my colleagues um, who's also a really good friend of mine and I was just saying, you know, something's not right, I think I'm going to go and get a test um, and she was like, oh, do you want me to come with you? And I was like, yeah, you know, a little bit of moral support. So we went to the local Sainsbury's, just picked up one of the little, you know, three pounders. I was like, that'll do, like, you know... Um, let's just grab one of those first and see so picked up one of those and uh went back took the test and it came back with a lovely little positive um and i was just kind of like sat on the toilet like um are you sure is, is this thing is it working properly um i was kind of just uh, yeah i was gobsmacked i was like no this i and part of me just didn't believe what I was seeing. Um, I was like, oh, you know, it's it's obviously a duff one. You know, it's a three pound Sainsbury's jobby. Like, it's not, it can't be, it's not, it's not real, is it? Like, it's not, not, not real, but do you know what I mean? Like, you kind of, you think, because I think you always have that in the back of your mind. Like, um, will I ever be able to get pregnant? That kind of thing. And, and I kind of always had it, like, I, I don't know if I'll be able to, like, a lot of my um family and I know a lot of you know women can't and they struggle and I just didn't believe like what I was seeing so anyway I kind of left it until after I'd finished work and I was like do you know what I'm gonna go and get hold on let me get comfy because I'm really uncomfortable I'm gonna go and get a more expensive test uh one of the clear blue ones from the pharmacy. I just thought, oh, I don't know, it'll be more accurate. I'll believe it a little bit more. So I ended up getting one of those, the clear blue ones, obviously that tell you how many weeks, blah, blah, blah. And me and my friend ended up going, and uh, me and my friend ended up going to the pub. Um, this was when pubs were open and, you know, life was kind of normal. And we went to the pub, uh, went into the pub toilets, how lovely and hygienic and yeah. And I took the test in there um, and, you know, like you have to wait a little bit longer. And it was just like these dots. And I was like, oh, my God, like, I don't know. I don't know. Is, is it going to say pregnant? And yeah, it came back um, and said pregnant two to three weeks. And I was just like, <laughs> you know, like 
I didn't, I, I just, again, I was like, so surprised. Um, it wasn't something that me and my partner were planning, but if it was going to happen, we were more than happy for it to happen. Do you know what I mean? That kind of thing. Um, so yeah, two to three weeks. Um, so yeah, that's how I found out. And obviously when I found out, um, was the two to three weeks. So it was pretty early on in my pregnancy that I found out. Um, how did I feel? So yeah, I kind of answered that in the first question. I was pretty gobsmacked, surprised, a little bit shook. <laughs> um, but no, like I was very happy um, and excited, but also overwhelmed. I think that's the right kind of words to use. Um, third question is how old were you? So I was 25 when I found out. Um, I'm still 25 now and I will still be 25 when I have my baby. Um, so I will be turning 26 in July, which is two months after baby will be born. Um, how did I tell my partner? So basically I'm really bad at um, keeping things to myself. I just always have been. Um, I kind of just blurt things out and things like that. So I actually came straight back from work and my partner was just in the kitchen and I pretty much just whipped out the test <laughs> and was like, yeah, you're going to be a dad. And I hoped that he was going to take it well and he did take it well. He was like really, really happy actually, um, which kind of was quite relieving because I was like, you know, how is he gonna take it? It's not just a one a one way thing. Like he's in this, you know, he's in this for the ride as well. It's not something, yeah, he can just kind of run from. I mean, you know, so he, yeah, he took it really well and we were both like really happy. And yeah, that's, that's kind of how that went down. Um, did you wait three months to tell people why slash why not? So um, in terms of my friends and like close friends and um, close family, I couldn't help but like tell my mum, like my mum is like my best friend. So I was like, I need to tell my mum, this is something that we can share together. And obviously with her having me and my sister, like she's been through it, like it's nice to have that support. So I told my mum pretty much straight away. I waited a little a little bit longer to tell my dad and my sister um, I wanted to tell them together and then I told like a few like really close friends that I knew would keep it private from the rest of the world um, and then I waited three months I waited till our 12 week scan until I told um, social media you know more more people uh, more of my friends and family because I think until you see the baby on the screen and see their heartbeat and and things like that um it almost still doesn't feel real so I just wanted to make sure everything was okay and things were going the right way um until I told you know more people um is this your first yes it's my first um it probably won't be my last like I'm hoping if it's possible to have more children then i would love to have more children um obviously i'm just so grateful that i'm able to even have one child um and yeah so ideally more but if not that's okay you know things happen life happens things change um what's my biggest craving so this is like a question that gets asked all the time like all my friends are always like oh my god like have you had any weird cravings like, are you craving anything yet um and to be honest i'm not like i haven't had any like some people have some weird cravings like you hear people that eat like bark off the trees like i mean no that hasn't happened to me <laughs> and i'm kind of kind of glad um I'm, i am weird but i'm not that weird um so i mean no offense to anyone that's you know eaten bark before do your thing um, I've no, I haven't had any cravings, but I have for some reason enjoyed orange juice more than what I did before. Like I've always liked orange juice, um, but yeah, 
I just kind of, I like it more than I did. Um, what's the best part of being pregnant? The best part of being pregnant is actually being able to, to, to be pregnant. Like I've said kind of throughout the video, like I'm just really grateful. Um, I never, like, I, I think every woman goes through that, you know, the fear of not being able to have children. And the best part of being pregnant is literally just being pregnant. Um, and knowing that I'm going to be, hopefully, the best mum I can be to a tiny little human being. So, yeah. Uh, what's the worst part of being pregnant? Now, I could sit here and ramble for ages, but I'll try and keep it short and sweet. I haven't had the best the best time um from around six weeks to 16 weeks i was really nauseous um i was head down the toilet vomiting like several times throughout the day um which made kind of general day-to-day -day life quite difficult like work was quite difficult i was kind of just running to the toilet a lot uh, grateful for my colleagues who totally understood um but yeah so the sickness wasn't nice um and there were days when I was like really dizzy and I just couldn't get out of bed, that kind of thing. So that was horrible. And then it kind of subsided from 16 weeks in terms of the sickness. Then all of a sudden I started getting these cramps and I was like, what is this? Like, obviously when you've never had a child before, you kind of stress and overthink and think the worst. And you're like, oh my God, what's happening to me? Um, and yeah, so I was experiencing really bad cramps and I had a few moments where I was spotting and I was like, you know, like you, you see blood and you think, oh my God, you just think the worst. So I obviously got in contact with my midwife, um, was went up to the hospital a few times to be checked over. Thankfully, cross fingers, everything was fine. Um, it was just a little scare and I hope that the rest of my pregnancy will be smooth from here out. But um, one thing I would say is something I found really helpful is downloading an app called Peanut. Um, you may or may not have heard it. I don't know if, you know, pregnant, previous women who have been pregnant have had it. Um, it's really helped me. It's basically like a community of women who are having a child or have had a child. And you can basically ask, you know, questions and communicate with other women um, and that's just really reassuring and a lot of my issues or like, you know, worries have been resolved from just using that app um, and not having to, you know, contact my midwife and because I always feel like a burden. So, yeah, that app's really helped me. Uh, will you find out the gender? What do you prefer? So we've already found out the gender. We found out on Christmas Day. We did like a, a kind of little family gender reveal, um, which was really, really nice and really magical. Uh, we found out that we were having a baby girl, hence the pink. <laughs> um, no, I just wanted to wear pink today. Um, <laughs> so yeah, I was really surprised because basically when I went for my 20 week scan, I was dead set that I saw a penis on the screen. And I was like, well, I've seen it, it's a boy. Like, it's a boy. Um, and to be honest, I had always kind of wanted a boy. I don't know why, I just kind of fancied having a little boy. Um, so when we did the reveal, me and my partner were like, sure, it was a boy. We kind of, we, we like, before we popped the balloon, we were like, well, we know, like, it's going to be blue, blah, blah, blah. Anyway, we popped the balloon and out popped some pink confetti. And I was like, like, obviously, I was just so surprised, but I was really, I was really happy as well. I was like, do you know what? Actually, like a mini me, like that is just too cute. I was just like, yeah, no, I really, I, I'm really excited that we're having a girl. So yeah, really happy. Um, do you have names picked out and what are the stories behind them? <sighs> so names, like oh, it's, it's probably one of the hardest things I think that you have to kind of like come to a, that an agreement on. So we're like, we like completely different names. So my boyfriend kind of likes, okay, so my boyfriend likes names that I just, I just wouldn't personally choose. And it's really hard because I like names that he wouldn't personally choose. And we find it really hard to come to like, you know, an agreement. Um, we, we finally have come to an agreement. We have got a name. Obviously I don't want to reveal it yet because I think it's quite nice to keep that personal until you give birth and then announce it. 
um but some of the names that i really liked are things like florence and phoebe um so with these names like i i love like having a nickname um i mean obviously my name's danielle but no one ever ever calls me that and like danny is just just what i get called and it's just i love having nicknames um so like for phoebe you could have phoebes bb um and then like for florence i was thinking like Flo is just so adorable um so i like stuff like that uh, my, well, my partner kind of liked he liked ophelia which is i do like the name but it's just not something i would choose um let me know in the comments if if you like any of those names or, or what names would you you choose um what's my birth plan so birth plan i feel like i haven't really got a birth plan at the moment i'm kind of going with the flow obviously i'm 22 and a half weeks pregnant um i haven't thought overly into it although the thought of a home birth was really really nice like being in the comfort of your own home around you know people you love and yeah just having home comforts like even the smell of your own homes is just like a comfort do you know what i mean um but at the minute due to covid and stuff like that home bar home baths i always do that home births are off the cards um so i'm thinking i'm just gonna go to the hospital and do it that way um water birth is something that interests me so if there is a like birthing pool i'm in there like i'm in there like swimwear i would yeah i would much prefer to be in water just because i think it would be so much more relaxing um will you breastfeed this is something that i'm like 50 50 on i don't know at the moment um obviously i, I would like to try it's something i would like to try but i know a lot of women struggle and you know there's a lot of pressure on on breastfeeding um obviously people say breast is best i mean i was bottle fed and i came out all right <laughs> So yeah, we're just gonna have to see nearer the time how, how I feel. Uh, do, 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 do you plan to work or be a stay at home mum? Um, so, I mean, I'm not the richest of people. Uh, I mean, stay at home mum would be like ideal, you know, quality time with your baby, all that kind of stuff. And obviously I will be off work, hopefully for a few months, um, but I'm definitely gonna have to go back at some point it's not what you want is it but it's it's yeah it's life uh so yeah do you so this one is do you have nursery ideas slash themes if i was privileged enough to have a room that i could transform into a nursery for my little baby i would be over the moon unfortunately we live in a one bedroom flat uh, not ideal um but it's all we can afford at the moment so i'm just gonna have to add like little touches here and there like you know um name like her name on the wall and and just little things like that you know just make the cot really cozy um cuddly toys blankets that kind of thing just gonna have to do the best with what we've got um have you purchased anything since becoming pregnant so this is the funny thing because I haven't really purchased much at all. Um, I think like with obviously COVID and stuff like that, like it's been really hard to get out and and go and look around the shops. And obviously at the minute everything's closed, so I can't. Um, but we're really, really lucky and blessed that we have um, friends that have had little girls uh, recently. Um, well, last year um, in particular, uh, one of our closest friends had a little girl and she's actually given me two big bags full of clothes. So, I mean, on the clothes front, like, she's fine. She's got everything. Um, in terms of the pram and the cot and things like that, this is something that I want to actually go out and, if I can, cross fingers, um, go out and actually look at and buy because I think it's so different when you buy online and um, in terms of the pram especially because we live in a one-bedroom flat, with stairs there's no lift i want to make sure the pram is like lightweight enough and test drive it around the store you know it's just something really nice to do um so hopefully i'll be able to go and do that um at some point but yeah and i think that is all the questions that i had on my phone so if there's anything else you want to ask feel free nothing's tmi like 
ask away, um, write something in the comments and hopefully I'll get back to you. But yeah, I hope you enjoyed the video and I'll see you soon.